Hey everyone, it's Armagon and welcome back to my channel where today we're going to be unboxing a mouse. So this here in my hands is the G Pro Wireless and this here is the G Pro X Super Lite which is the new and improved version of the G Pro Wireless. It weighs about 20 grams lighter than the G Pro Wireless so I'm extremely excited to try it out. So on the packaging it says the choice of pro gamers worldwide. So if you don't buy this mouse you are not a pro gamer, okay? Gamers only get Logitech mice because they are gamers. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, what the heck. I got this for uh, 240 SGD, uh, which is about 160, 150 USD. So it's not a bad price, honestly. I need to figure out how to open this without stabbing myself. Where is my machete? I can't, I need to find a way to get this box open. All right, I couldn't find my chainsaw, so this is what to do the trick. Uh, give me a sec. Ah, uh, yes. Tearing away the plastic. I can hear the turtle suffocating already. Oh my God, it feels so light. No way. And just holding it, even though it feels light, it doesn't feel cheap at all. It feels so well built. What the heck? It's solid. So with the box, there should be a dongle at the bottom here. Uh, yep, here's the receiver. And uh, I need to find the cable. So this is what you use to charge as well as uh, receive the uh, connection from your mouse to your PC. Spin around. How do I do this? I did not pass elementary school. Give me a sec. All right, before I plug it in, I'm just going to compare the G Pro Wireless to the G Pro X Super Lite. I'll do a more in-depth comparison video over the next few days, but I just want to touch on the basics. So there's no longer the option to take out the buttons and you can't have a left-handed grip on this anymore because the buttons are only located on the left face rather than, you know, having both sides. I think the feet for these will be a lot better because uh, there's a lot more surface area, which means there's less pressure, which means that there's less friction. And that'll mean that it'll glide a lot easier. When we're talking about clicks, I'd say they feel about the same. The left click does feel a bit, it feels like there is a bit more resistance though, I'm not gonna lie. Moving on to switches, I do believe that this is double click prevention, and uh, which means you can't butterfly click on it as effectively as you can on the G Pro Wireless. I'm still able to hit around 13 or 14 CPS, so the double click prevention isn't really stopping my CPS uh, like it is with Razer, so that is good. So something new viewers need to know about me is that my left and right clicks are actually swapped. So that means my right click is my uh, punch and my... Uh, Left click is my use button. It's gonna be a bit weird for new viewers, but this will not affect my uh, review of the mouse at all. Oh my god, this feels so light. I love it. So if I'm gonna discuss like the good points of this mouse, uh, feet feel extremely light. Clicks feel like S tier. What's going on? What? Huh? Okay. The guy was running circles around me like freaking Hurricane Harvey. Okay. Oh. Anyway, so feet feel very good. Clicks feel very good. Tracking is fantastic. Uh, also the weight, as promised, is about 60 grams. I haven't really done a weight test, but it's about the same weight, if not lighter than my Mal O, which is uh, very, very nice. Oh, let's go. Man, slaggy. Oh, okay, I, I, still, I still need to get used to the, the weight of this, or lack thereof at least. But damn. I normally don't adjust this well to mice when I first pick them up. So the fact that I'm able to rail people, uh, even though I have not used this mouse before, uh, really says something. So if that doesn't, you know, give you a reason to buy this mouse, I I don't know what will. It's so good. It's, it is the best mouse I've ever used in my life. And I'm saying this like 10 minutes after like opening the box and using it. So even 10 minutes has been like 5 minutes, but yeah. You're gonna need to die, sir. I don't care that I don't have speed, I'm gonna kill you. There we go. GG's. You can drag click on this. So that is very nice to know. And it feels good to drag click on as well. It's, it's not like a shit mouse that like, like, like the, uh, not shit per se, but it's not like the death adder where you can drag click on it, but it's not a effective drag click. I think this is good. 16 CPS peak so far. I think it was like 17 just now I saw, but damn. I'll, I'll make a I'll make a follow up video in a few days time to see if my opinions have changed. But I just want to say I absolutely love this. I really really do. Anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed. And uh, if you're a new viewer here who is checking out my content just to you know look at this mouse, do consider subscribing because it helps me out a lot and it really lets me know that you guys enjoy this type of content. I also have a Mal O wireless on the way, and if I'm not wrong, the software has been updated so you can drag click on that once again. So I'll be doing a comparison video between that and this one, and I'll let you guys know my findings and you know whether it's worth to get this or the model wireless 
And with the start from that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.